In the context of technology reviews, it is important that either in your original review of the product, or in the total coverage area of your review of that product or type of product, that you make sure a lot of time has been put in with the product. Nothing is worse than having reviewed a product based on a couple weeks worth of usage, only to find out that the product just fell to pieces or just totally didn't do what you expected a month or so later. This video is brought to you by Green Man Gaming. GMG is a unique game store that is jam-packed full of great deals and sales and even lets you trade in your old games towards new game purchases. Click the screen to sign up and get $2 free towards your next game purchase. Thankfully, this isn't at all what happened with the SteelSeries 6G V2. I am very happy to report that the SteelSeries 6G V2, their mechanical keyboard with Cherry MX Red switches that I reviewed about 9 months ago, you can check out the original review here, is still performing absolutely amazingly, and it's still my main driver in terms of keyboards. It is probably my favorite keyboard that I've used thus far. Now, I've reached out to SteelSeries to find out if they've released a keyboard with Cherry MX Blue switches, as I hear those are easier on the knuckles as I have very sensitive joints that ache at times and I hear blue switches are just amazing for typing really really fast and being lighter on your hands, however they have not. So at the moment I'm still running with the Cherry MX Red switches inside their 6G V2 and I'm loving it. It, it actually got quieter as I used it but I have not noticed any sort of wearing down on the mechanical switches. When you first get a fresh mechanical keyboard that has the typical loud clicky switches, it is very crisp and very loud when you first get it. Even just lightly pecking on the keys, you're gonna hear Well over time, as I used the 6G V2 from SteelSeries, it actually got a little bit quieter and a lot more tolerable. It's like there's a certain edge to the sound that kind of wore off a little bit, but yet it still performs absolutely amazingly. The keyboard is, fits perfectly on my desk. It's not a 10 key keyless keyboard. It does have the number pad on the side, but it, 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 it has that same minimalistic size form factor as some of the 10 key keyless keyboards that you have seen recently actually are. Whereas they're just take up as little space as possible on your desk and are still durable and perfectly fit for your hands. It compared to some of the Logitech keyboards that I have, which I loved, but were really large and compared to some of the other large gaming keyboards I've seen, this thing is perfect. It takes up very little space. The only complaint I probably do have about the size and the form factor is that the way it's built is actually quite a bit up off the desk and for a while that was not a problem but as I said I have sensitive joints, I have sensitive fingers and wrists and things like that. I ended up buying one of those rubber gel um, wrist rests to sit my wrists on so that they're more level with the keyboard because it's just putting them flat on the desk There's such a like height to the keyboard and then the slant up that it was actually becoming strenuous on my wrist Now granted most people probably are never actually going to encounter this for me It was a small problem, but getting that five dollar wrist rest was all I needed and I've actually my wrists have been the most comfortable while typing they have been in a long long time So if anything, that's just a reason to go get one of those wrist rests and not anything wrong with the keyboard. Now the paint on the letters have worn down quite a bit, especially on the WASP keys where my fingers are pretty much constantly just resting whether or not I'm playing a game or editing video. Somehow, I guess from gaming, editing video now, my hand just default rests on WASD, tab, and spacebar. And so my hand's just pretty much always there. And the paint has started to wear down a little bit. You can still see the letters and obviously that's not the key itself hasn't worn down just the paints rubbed off a little bit it's probably to be expected on any keyboard that uses paint like that but just something to note now the rubber grips on the bottom of this keyboard are probably the only rubber base grip non-slip grip things that i've ever owned that hasn't lost its grip after time typically even if it's just from dust and needs wiped off with a damp rag Pretty much anything that I have that has those non-slip feet on it, after being on my desk a while and gathering enough dust, slips around. This keyboard never has, and granted I have cleaned it from time to time, it's never gotten to that point where I can just push it. Now that may be from the sheer weight of the keyboard, just keeping it down to where that grip is always intact, but it's never slipped on me, and that's pretty awesome, especially since I have my audio interfaces stacked up behind the keyboard. It's kind of important that when I go to type, my keyboard just doesn't go flying forward and break something. So, kudos to them for that. 
Overall, nine or so months later, the SteelSeries 6G V2 is still an absolutely amazing keyboard. It is a Cherry MX Red mechanical keyboard from SteelSeries. Features no extra crazy buttons, although they do replace the left start, the left Windows key with their own SteelSeries key, and they have media keys on the F keys. But they have no extra macro buttons or anything like that. It's just a straight up USB keyboard. Works fantastic, has a great long cable. Very rugged and durable. The only thing I may say might be a problem with it is how thick it is became a problem for my wrists. But again, that's just a personal thing. So if you're looking for a basic and very small compact, but still durable and useful mechanical keyboard, still recommend that keyboard. If you're looking for a more detailed review on that keyboard, go ahead and check out my original review I did last year up here in the annotation here. And otherwise, guys, thank you so much for watching. My name has been Adam, or Repos Box. If you like this video, leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike. Leave us a comment telling us why. Check the links in the descriptions for information on how to support us via monthly contribution. Subscribe to our vlog channel, our Pokemon channel, our geek channel, our high tech channel, uh, all the channels in the world. Um, all the channels, or check us out on social media. And otherwise, thank you so much for watching. My name has been Adam, or Repos Box, and I will catch you in a future video. If you like this video, leave a like. If you disliked it, so if anything, that's just a reason to go get those wrist rest, the wrist rest, wrist rest.